Hello everyone and welcome to a new reading vlog and I plan on this vlog being actually about reading because on my last vlog I guess there was someone that commented like this shouldn't be called a reading vlog because you barely read something like that along those lines and I'm not confident enough to hear those comments so I got really self-conscious and sad and so I'm actually making a reading vlog this time I swear I'm going to be reading also because this week I'm going to be having a lot more time to just dedicate to myself and read because next week I have no school stuff to like deliver or anything so I'm basically free for the next week to just relax and be with myself get some good reading done because in the last few weeks I haven't been reading like barely honestly I still have so many books that I want to read this month so I really want to take this time before the end of the semester before I get really busy again to actually dedicate to reading. I've already finished two books and one audiobook this month which isn't bad but I have so many other books on my TBR for this month um, that I just I just want to read. I'm in a reading mood but I don't have time to read because I have school stuff to do. So my reading plans for this week is first of all I'm going to start The Girl with Seven Names today. I actually started it yesterday but I'm still on like chapter one. I only read the prologue and yeah I'm going to be reading this one this week. Maybe I'll finish it, who knows, we'll see, but I want to make a big dent in this book. And then I'm also going to be starting my two buddy reads this week. I'm going to be starting The People in the Trees by Ania Nagahara with Sophia and I'm going to be starting An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir with Charlotte and probably not gonna finish these two books this week but I want to start them at least so yeah those are my plans I'm feeling good I also have some other fun plans for this week I'm going to be hanging out with my best friends and we're gonna go to Lisbon it's gonna be great and I'm just feeling really good so I decided to start this vlog why not? Also, I don't feel like filming sit-down videos even though I have a million sit-down videos to film so this just seemed like a good option for me right now. So um, I'll see you guys later when I start actually reading. Right now I have to go back to class because I literally muted class just to film this clip so I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Hello everyone and happy Tuesday. So before I talk about my readings from yesterday because yesterday I didn't update you anymore I have just received a very exciting package in the mail. It has nothing to do with books but it kind of does at the same time. So a few weeks ago I was approached by the company TIJN Eyewear and they make glasses like reading glasses and sunglasses any type of glasses that you want and they approached me to review some of their glasses and i am here to do just that so they sent me three pairs of glasses and i'm going to finally open them i'm super excited also i will leave all of their links down below if you want to check their website out. So first of all they come in these little pouches which are super cute and honestly seem super durable. Okay so the first pair I am super excited about because I obviously spend a lot of my time on screens unfortunately. I edit videos, I do stuff for school and now school is online so I spend a lot of my time on my laptop or on my phone and I have heard that blue light filter glasses are super good to be on the computer. They are used just for that and I got this pair. Let me see if they look good. Oh okay I like them. Yeah, they look pretty good. So these are blue light filter glasses and they are pink frames, like light pink frames. I will leave the exact names of the models that I picked down below if you want to buy it for yourself. But I really like how these look on my face. I feel like I have a very difficult face to like find glasses that actually look good on me. Also, you can see the glare from the window, but yeah, I think these look pretty good. They're very subtle because of the pink frames and yeah, pink is my favorite color, so I just had to 
uh, get a pair of pink glasses and I love these. These are going to come in a lot of handy to be on the computer and on my phone scrolling through Instagram like I do every day. I will get to that in a second. <laughs> and yeah, that is the first pair. Super excited to wear these. They are probably going to help me a lot with not having as many headaches as I do get when I spend a lot of time on my laptop. So yeah, excited about these ones. Now this pair I'm super excited about because I do not own sunglasses. Since last year I lost my only pair of sunglasses. I just left it somewhere and someone got them and stole them from me. Well, I technically left it around like at a park. So yeah, it was bound to happen. And since then I don't have a pair of sunglasses. So when TIJN contacted me and asking me if I wanted to like collaborate, I was like, please give me sunglasses because I don't have any. And so I got these beautiful, like these are very similar to the ones that I had before they got stolen. And I really like how they looked. I really like the style and the frames. So I got like a similar pair to that. But that one that I had previously was like five euros at a clothing store. And this one is actually good quality. So I'm getting the best of both worlds. I'm not only getting sunglasses because I don't have them, but I'm also getting good sunglasses that will actually do something for me and not just like look good. So these are the pair that I got. I love how they look and I just hope they look good on me. Let me try it. Okay, yeah, they look pretty good. I like these. All of a sudden I look very sophisticated and I just love that and also I love wearing glasses like this in the summer, just getting the hair out of my face. So I will be using these non-stop this summer. Yeah, I look very classy. <laughs> I love them. So I'll leave the name of the sunglasses down below if you want to shop them. They also have in other colors, I think. And yeah, I just like these ones best. So yeah, finally have sunglasses. I'm so excited about that. Now the last pair of sunglasses I really wasn't expecting. They kind of like last minute decided to send these my way because these are their new anti-fog glasses. And we all know that during this pandemic, we realized how annoying it is for glasses to be foggy and to fog because of face mask like if you wear face masks and you wear glasses i'm so sorry because all of them fog like crazy because of the mask and it's super annoying so they have come up with a new line of sunglasses that are anti-fog so they don't fog up with your mask and let's see okay so here they are they are a very cool style. I feel like I'm not cool enough to wear these glasses, honestly. I've always wanted to have a pair of glasses like this, but I've never felt cool enough to wear them and they look very academic and I don't look academic at all. So I'm hoping that I will look smart in these and yeah, let's see how they look. Okay. Okay, I like them. They look pretty cool. Also, I need to take this sticker out. And I forgot to say, but these are also blue light filter glasses, so I can also wear them to be on my phone and to be on my laptop, which is always good. And you can see the glare in them. I'm so sorry, but I have a face mask here. I'm gonna put it on and see if it does the job, it probably does. Okay, so I've been wearing them for a while with this mask on and no fog. I don't know how they did that, but yeah, it doesn't fog up. So if you are looking for pairs of glasses that don't fog, these are the ones for you because I didn't even know that this technology was possible, um, but they somehow did it. And I love how these look on me, honestly. I'm kind of obsessed. <laughs> so these are the last pair of their new brand Orange by T-I-J-N and yeah these are pretty good to wear out and about and also I forgot to say but none of these glasses are prescription because I do have a prescription but it's so small um, that I feel like I don't need it. I feel like I don't need a prescription I just need blue light filter glasses to be on my computer because I see great. Like, I have great vision. I just get really blurry vision when I spend a lot of time on screens. And when I went to the eye doctor to 
see what that was about. He was a very old man and I feel like he just gave me prescription because he probably doesn't even know about blue light filter glasses and I feel like that's what I need because I only get blurry vision if I spend a lot of times on screen so I feel like blue light filters will help immensely with that so I got two pairs of blue light filter glasses and I got a pair of sunglasses which I desperately needed. I will leave down below all of the information if you want to get glasses for yourself and also all of the models that I have right here and if you want to get one for yourself. I'm kind of obsessed with all of them and I really picked good pairs of glasses. They're all great quality. I feel like they're going to last me a lifetime and I'm just super happy about them. So I will leave all of the links down below if you want to get some for yourself and I will let's move on to reading. So I don't really know if I'm in a reading slump or not because every single day I think oh I can't wait for it to be nighttime so I can read in peace in my bed and it's going to be so great and relaxing. And then it gets to the time for me to actually read and I don't. I literally spent my whole night on my phone yesterday and it was so bad. So yesterday I read a total of like five pages the whole day. So today I'm actually going to try and read, probably going to read right now while I have lunch because I'm getting hungry and also I've, I used to like last month, I used to like read every day when I was having lunch and then after dinner and it was just so good. I got through so many books and I want to bring that back again. So I'm still reading this one. I read, like I said, five pages yesterday. I'm on chapter two and I actually want to read a lot of this today. So I'm actually going to try. Also, I have some schoolwork that I need to finish. So that's the plan for today. Just read and do schoolwork. And that's it. And it's simple. Now I'm going to get some lunch with my new sunglasses. And yeah, thank you so much to TIGN for giving me the glasses and for me to be able to share with you all. I'm so grateful and I'm ready to go read. <laughs> why for so many years I didn't put blush on because every time I leave the house I just come back with natural blush. Um, so today I really wanted to have a relaxing day to like get all of the things that I didn't needed to do done and read. Obviously I'm still going to read after I show you what I just got but basically my record player broke um, last week and I've been looking for a new record player and there's not a lot of options here. I don't know why, but I feel like no one is buying record players anymore. Um, so there aren't that many options. So today I finally decided on the one that I was going to get, which is a Crosley one, which is, I know, pretty basic and not the best quality, but it's the only one that is affordable for me and also it was easily accessible to me so I decided on that one and I tried to order it online and they kept canceling my order for some fucking reason so I decided like if they're not gonna deliver it to my door I'm just gonna go to the store and get it so that's what I did like after I finished my schoolwork I went to my car and I drove 20 minutes uh, to the store and I got my <laughs> record player. It's right here. It's a Sage one and I'm just going to open it right now and try it on and then I'm going to get comfortable and read. So first let's do this. Happy Wednesday. So I have some reading updates. 
to give you because yesterday I did read. I didn't read it as much as I would have liked to, but I still read, which is still good. But still, I read a bit of The Girl with Seven Names. I am on page 120, so I read almost 100 pages yesterday. And today, I would like to get to page 200, to be honest. So that's what I'm going to try and do and get like more than halfway. And what do I think of this book as of right now? I just keep reminding myself that this is non-fiction because North Korea just doesn't seem real. It doesn't feel like it exists on the same reality that I exist. And it's so weird that as I'm filming this right now, people are living in North Korea and living under these laws and restrictions and rules. And, and it's so sad that people live like this in the same world that I live in. And yeah, it just completely baffles me every time I read about North Korea, just the stuff that they go through. It's horrible. But yeah, I'm really liking it and I can't wait to read more of this. Like I said, I'm going to try and reach page 200 today. So that's 80 pages. I think I can manage it. And then I also read the first chapter of Number in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. Um, I have no thoughts up until now. I'm on page 10. So but I am also excited to continue with this book today. I would like to reach maybe like page 50 or something. Um, I think this is going to be a quick read, even though it's a chunky one. It's 400 and something pages, 30 pages. So yeah, I'm going to continue reading these two books today. And honestly, do I have anything else to do? I don't. I only have class and then I have nothing else to do, which is a blessing. I kind of need to film videos, but at the same time, I think I'm going to film them on Friday. Let's hope that I take advantage of this day and actually get a big chunk of reading done because I haven't been able to concentrate on a book but I really want to get back into reading. So yeah, those are my plans and I will see you guys later. 1am, a very sleepy update. I got to page 205, I think, of The Girl With Seven Names and yeah i'm more than halfway now you can't really see it and also i have reached page 50 of a number in the ashes by sabata here i'm really liking this one so far i'm still trying to understand the whole system but i'm really enjoying it and yeah so i managed to read quite a bit today and tomorrow i'm going to have a busy day because I'm going to Lisbon and I'm getting my nails done and I'm having lunch with my best friend. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. <laughs> It's later in the day and I just took a shower because when I got home I went straight to the shower but you know what today I had a really good day which I am so happy about I just you know when you have a really good day and you're like why are all days like this yeah that's me today I really needed a day like this and so Early in the morning, I went to Lisbon and I got my nails done. You can't really see it on camera right now, but they look so good and I'm so happy with how they turned out. And then I just spent the day with my best friend in Lisbon and you know, like I love when I don't have the urge to film everything when I'm with friends because it just means that I'm having a good time with them and that I'm actually enjoying my time with them. But at the same time, I have no B-roll for this vlog, which is kind of sad. And yeah, we had lunch and went thrifting and also got donuts and it was super nice. And then I just came home to a bunch of lovely packages that I wasn't expecting and it just made this day even better. And 
yeah, I didn't get a lot of reading done, to be honest. I read a little bit of An Ember in the Ashes while I was going to Lisbon in the morning, but it wasn't a lot. I read like 10 pages maybe, so I'm still pretty early in the book. I am liking it though, and I like the dual perspective in the book. And now speaking of the packages that I got that I wasn't expecting, the first one is my first ever physical arc. A person at Icon Books contacted me a couple of months ago and asked me if I wanted to read Quarantine Comics uh, by Rachel Smith and this is literally a comic book about the quarantine which I thought was such a cool idea because this is something that all of us can relate to and I'm just so excited that I finally have it because I've been waiting for it for a while and yeah this is my first ever physical arc that I have that I got from this thing on YouTube that I do and it's just so exciting and I'm so excited also to read this. This is a memoir of life in lockdown. I feel like I'm going to relate a lot to this book uh, because of this whole panoramic situation we got going on and yeah, maybe I'll start reading this one this week. Who knows? We'll see. Maybe I'll start this week or maybe on my next vlog. But yeah, I'm super excited that I finally got this one. And then I got a lovely package from kennys.ie. I made a video all about them because I tried their service to buy books from because of my series I guess you could call it here on my channel come book shopping with me and they not only like saw my video and contacted me afterwards saying that they loved my video but then they also got me two books that I really wasn't expecting two books from Irish authors the first one Normal People by Sally Rooney which unfortunately I already have so it was kind of a bummer but it's okay. And then they also got me this one which is called Tangleweed and Brine by Derger Sullivan and this was the winner of the Irish Book Awards in 2017. So super excited to get to this one um, and I think this is also YA. I'm not sure if it's fantasy. Not really sure. I have to look into this book a little bit more but they were kind enough to send me these two books without me asking. They also wrote me a note and they also sent me their tote bag uh, which I am so excited to wear. It says love books. I almost cried when I saw this. Like this is so nice of them. They didn't need to send me stuff uh, but it was such a lovely thing that they did. Yeah I'm just having the best day. I feel really happy. Had a nice time and yeah and now for the rest of the night I'm just going to read to make my day even better. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited, super grateful for everything I got. I'm just feeling really happy right now so I thought I would share. And yeah, now I'm going to have dinner and then I'm going to read, continue reading The Girl with Seven Names. I would like to finish this one, that one by tomorrow, like read the rest of it between today and tomorrow. And I would also like to make a big dent in A Number in the Ashes and I'm probably also going to start reading The People in the Trees today as well uh, with Sophia. So yeah, all around, great week, great day and I'll see you guys later. everyone it is finally friday and something really exciting happened yesterday before i went to sleep like right before i went to sleep i hit 3000 subscribers here on youtube and i still can't believe it because that's such a big number i don't know super exciting and i've been trying to think of something that I could do to celebrate it and I think I'm going to host some reading like very impromptu reading sprints tonight just to celebrate I guess. I really miss doing reading sprints on my channel because I haven't done in like a, a month and a half or something so I think that's what I'm gonna do tonight to celebrate. Thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel and yeah I'm just 
so happy <laughs> about this and the rest of my plans for today are to film and edit a video for tomorrow because i haven't filmed in like two weeks i need to finally get it done i just haven't been feeling like filming but i have so many videos to film so just gonna force kind of force myself to do it today so i'm gonna film a video and then I want to finish reading The Girl with Seven Names because yesterday I got to page 283 and I think I have exactly 100 pages left. Um, I'm this far into it. So I want to finish this one today before my reading sprints. Right now I'm going to have lunch, then I'm going to film and then I'm going to read and try and edit my video as soon as possible. And then also I'm still reading An Ember in the Ashes, still at the beginning. And I will start also reading The People in the Trees today because I didn't get to yesterday. So yeah, I am going to be reading these two on my reading sprints tonight. And I'm hopefully going to finish this one before then. So those are my plans for today. And yeah, super excited about hitting 3k, like it's just unbelievable. But yeah, right now I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna film a video, so I'll see you guys later. So it is now Saturday already and I forgot to update you yesterday and I forgot to film anything of the live stream that I did because I did end up doing a live stream on my channel and it was super super fun and I just want to thank everyone that was there and made my night so special and it was just super fun to talk and also to read because we did like three or four reading sprints and I got some good reading done of An Ember in the Ashes and I am currently on page 152 and yeah I read like I think maybe a hundred pages in that live stream and it was a pretty good reading session and yeah if I hadn't done the live stream I would probably be on my phone um so it was it was a nice way to spend the night and spend the night with all of you I'm really liking the book I think the two main characters are about to cross paths so I'm excited to see their relationship grow because I feel like it's going to be like a romantic relationship. Not sure though, but it's probably going to be this is kind of predictable. Excited to see where the story goes and I will probably read more of this tomorrow because actually I'm about to leave to go to the cinema for the first time in almost a year and I'm actually gonna go watch Nomadland and I've been meaning to watch that movie for so so long so I'm excited. Before my live stream I finished reading uh, The Girl with Seven Names by Yuan Xiu Li and I really enjoyed it but I do gotta say that I gave it a four out of five stars which is a pretty good rating but um, I was kind of expecting this to be a five star read because the other book that I read like this I gave a five star too um, but this one I don't know I don't know if it's because I read the other one first and I like that one much better than I did this one um, I don't know maybe it's because I read it in Portuguese as well maybe that didn't grip me as much as it would in English I don't know what it was but there was something that I it just didn't grip me um, like the other book did, like In Order to Live did, so yeah, that's why I give it a four star, but it's still a good rating and it's still a great, great book if you want to learn more about North Korea and yes, so I finished that one, read more of An Ember in the Ashes and also today in the morning I went for a walk and I was listening to my audiobook and I completely forgot to tell you what audiobook I was listening to, so right now I'm actually listening to Yolk by Mary H.K. Choi and that audiobook is pretty big, I think it's like 13 hours and I'm currently 
almost halfway. I think I have seven hours and a half still to go, but I am liking that book. It's my first Mary H.K. Choi. And the book is basically about two sisters, June and Jane. And June is the older sister, and one day she goes to meet Jane and tells her that she has cancer and that she's probably going to die. And it's about their relationship and also their life in New York, which I think is so interesting because I really want to go to New York, so it's making me want to go even more. And yeah, I'm liking the audiobook and I will probably continue listening to it, but I'll probably not finish it this week because it's a big ass audiobook and I've been listening to it since the beginning of the month. But yeah, just thought I would throw that in and update you on my audiobook reads and yeah, right now I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna go watch a movie, then I'm gonna come back and maybe I'll read a little bit more of An Ember in the Ashes, and I also want to start The People in the Trees, still in this vlog. But yesterday I opened the book for the first time, I still haven't started it, but I flipped through the pages, and can we acknowledge the size of this font? Because I'm not okay, I'm not really sure how I'm going to read the size of font, like this is so tiny. How am I supposed to read this in my normal day-to-day -day life? Like, I don't know, but I will try and maybe I'll start this one tomorrow or maybe tonight. I don't know, but yeah, I also want to start this one. So yeah, current reads and now I'm gonna go and eat some popcorn. So I'll see you guys later. <laughs>